I hope everyone has recovered from their New Year's festivities. I have some good news. We finally gave a name to this killer that's been terrorizing Raleigh. The Crabtree Carnivore. Isn't that a little cheesy? Three bodies we've seen Found on the banks of Crabtree Creek And what about the warehouse scene? Peterson could have been a copy The details all line up The problem is the location But, but should we, we count, count Dr. Peterson, Peterson On account of the mutilation? And the carnivore bit do you really believe that the, the absence, absence of, of the, the organs, organs means Surely it cannot be They're, they're using them for meat. meat Cannibalism It's not the first time I've had to deal with a monster like this In December of 2013, someone dropped their leftovers on our doorstep Three corpses all wrapped up in a pretty little bow And just in time for Christmas We never did catch them there's been other cases scattered throughout the years. So what's the next move? Are we just going to wait for the next killing? Unfortunately, we may not have a choice. This killer doesn't like to leave much evidence, if any. Then we need to take everything we can get. There are clear patterns here. Sounds like you figured this out more than the rest of us. Care to share? Well, first of all, I've already established that it's a woman. A claim for which you have no proof. Chadley, let her finish. Thank you, Pete. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. We're faced with a vague image, a silhouette, if you will. To fill in the details, it takes spare time and inductive skill. Consider the past four murders, as well as a few cold cases. You think that it's the same killer? They're in the same book, just on different pages. It may be a shot in the dark, but it could also be a bullseye. 2014, two bodies were found in Umstead Park. A few months apart, but they're definitely related. Similar conditions to what we're seeing now, just a little sloppier. These two cases would have been some of her first few killings. She must have gotten comfortable with Umstead, because two more were found on the other side of the park in 2015, this time much cleaner. 2016. Three at the fairgrounds, spread throughout the spring and summer. Then in 2017, she must have a bad year, or a good year depending on her motive, because there was only one organless body on the grounds of the art museum. But she sure made up for it with a total of four washed up corpses at Shelley Lake in 2018, missing all kinds of body parts. And that leads us to 2019. Four more bodies dumped in the water. God only knows what 2020 will bring us. Why do you think she keeps leaving these bodies in public areas? Does she just want the attention? Maybe she has some sick fantasy of what she wants her murders to look like. And that happens to be a part of it. Okay, well, Graham, what else you got? Well, since you asked so politely... You think Peterson could be a copycat But if you take a closer look at the map it's clear he was meant to meet the same fate So close to the creek, it's not up for debate I also looked at the others They all have this mysterious mark The signature of the carnivore Let us know there will be more Well, I'll be damned. You may be on some, Green. Yes. It appears she knew every critical detail of these killings. I bet she knows more than the carnivore himself. Cut it out, Chadley. Just because she has the patience to do research, that doesn't mean she's a serial killer. Why don't we ask old Nancy Drew here? Did your heart race when you sank that knife into Thomas Peterson? All right, that's enough. Zip it, Charlie. Whoa, I was just joking. Where's your sense of humor, Chief? I left it at the door with my coat, and I'd suggest you do the same. Sorry for keeping y'all so late, but I do think we had a very productive night. I say we call it a day before we all get too cranky. Marley, wait. What's up? Do you want to hang out tomorrow? Like, outside of work. Maybe we could get dinner? That actually sounds fun. We could go somewhere nice so there's an excuse to get all dressed up. That'd be great. How about you pick the place? I think I've got somewhere in mind. I'll give you the address tomorrow. Make it a surprise. Sounds like a plan.